This is the plaintiff, Godfrey Evans. He says he's been friends with the defendant for about 10 years. And when she offered to store his two flat screen TVs in her storage unit, when he was in between places, he took her up on it. But when he went to retrieve the TVs from the storage unit, one of them was gone. When he visited her house a few days later, his TV was on her wall. She actually tried stealing it from him. Some nerve. He's suing for $400. The amount he's out. This is the defendant, Sabrina Wilson. She says she and the plaintiff have been friends for 20 years, so she thought it would be okay for her to borrow the TV since she didn't have one and it was going to go to waste in a storage unit. His TV, however, had a cracked screen from when he moved it into storage, and her roommates ended up throwing it out. She's since gone out and purchased a new TV for herself and doesn't feel she owes her old friend a thing because his TV was broken to begin with. She's accused of helping herself to a guy's television. All parties, please join hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says his good friend stole his flat screens, flat out stole them. But the defendant says they were such good friends, she just borrowed it. It's the case of flat screens to friendship zero. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Godfrey Evans. You are suing your former friend, I guess, Sabrina Wilson, for $400 uh, that you want her to pay to replace a 55-inch Toshiba television that she broke. Tell me what happened here. Oh, in September, end of September, I had to move from my residence, so I needed a place to store my stuff, and so Sabrina offered me to uh, come in and occupy the space with her. Occupy what space? The storage space. Okay, and where was this storage space, like a paid storage Yes. Space? Yes. Okay. And was were you going to be paying for it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right. So he was helping you to split the cost of whatever storage there. Yes. All right. And what happens? And so uh, beginning of February, I found a place to stay, and I asked her for the key, and she would give me a run around like where she'd be at, but I'd go there and she wouldn't be there. And so one day I I rented a um, U-Haul, and I called her. And she told me to come over. We picked her up. Went to pick up my stuff at the storage. I opened the door, the storage room door, and I saw one of my TVs missing. I asked her where it was at, and she said she didn't know where it was at at first. And so I said, come on, where it's at? And she said, I, I, I borrowed it, and it broke, and I threw it away. And I looked at her like, threw my TV away? And she said, yeah. And so I said, okay, I'll come back. I'll, I didn't believe her at first. So I went by her house and knocked on the door. Her grandson let me in. I asked her about my TV. She wouldn't talk to me hardly. So I called the but police. What do you mean? You said, where's my TV and what did she so say? So she, she was in the room and I was outside in the hall. And she would, I asked her what a TV and she wouldn't acknowledge me. But and who grandson, let you in? The grandson let you in? How yes, old's the grandson? About five. The grandson let you in? Yeah. What's with your grandson? You but need to teach him not to open the door to people. So he lets you in, and then you say, hey, where's my TV? And she's still in the other room? Yeah, she's still on her bed. She had just woke up, I believe. And so she didn't give me an answer, so I called the police. <laughs> called the police? <laughs> and yes. Okay, and then so what the happens? Police, now arrived. it's when it gets fun. The police arrived, so he went inside the house and searched the house. He comes out with a box, a TV box, and he said she went and bought a TV. And I looked at him like, she bought a TV. What about my TV? Okay. And he said, you have to go to court. Okay. Take it up in court. What happened to his TV? It was cracked. So How was it cracked? The screen was cracked. When you, you mean you cracked it? What do you mean? No, the screen was cracked when I took it out of the, uh, the storage. The, the screen was already cracked. Wait, what did you take it out of the storage for? To, to use it because Wh I had just wait, kind of... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So if somebody's storing their property at your house, like a, fr a flat screen, are you allowed to kind of pull it out and use it? I would not, just because of respect for them. I tend to just leave it there. Leave it there. I, I get that, but could you actually use it? Are you allowed to? I would gladly use it, as particularly if he's not paying me for storage. And ma'am? I would not. I would leave it stored. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. What gives you a right to use it? Well, because he was my friend, I didn't think he would mind. I didn't want to bother him. And you didn't want to bother him? That's <laughs> it. You, what right do you have to go into the storage room and take something that belongs to his? 
He's paying you for storage. Even if he wasn't, you wouldn't have that right. But he's helping to pay for the storage. It's his storage. What right do you have to go into his place and take this TV? I don't, but I just thought it was okay. But really? It yeah. I didn't want to bother you with it. Mm -hmm. And it so when you go to get the TV, what happens? You notice that it's cracked in the storage room? When we went to turn it on, you can't see the crack unless you turn it on. The crack. Okay. So we turned it on, it was cracked. Who's we? My roommate. My roommate. So you turn it on and it's cracked, and then what? So I said, was well, it? How so was it packaged? It was a soap in. It's not it wasn't packaged. It wasn't wrapped in anything? No. Is that accurate? Yes. All right, so that you turn it on and it's cracked, and then what do you do? So my roommate took it outside. I'm not sure what he did with it. but Why no. didn't you put it back in the storage room and tell him, listen, I got to confess, I borrowed it, but, you know, this wasn't the greatest way to pack your TV because uh, when I put it on, apparently it has an internal problem, um, and there's a crack. I mean, wh why didn't you do that like an honest person would? I should have, yeah. But what'd you do instead? I would have got me a new TV. Oh, what'd you do with his TV? Uh, my roommate took it outside, took it on the back. I'm not sure what he did with it. Well, do you have eyeballs? <laughs> what happened with it in the back? Did it mysteriously disappear? I guess he threw it away. Okay, so your roommate throws it away. Then he comes over to the storage room, and he sees it's missing. And do you come clean immediately, or does it take you a while? I didn't really want to tell him, but I did. Because I knew okay, he was so going to yell at me. Okay, so what's your defense? It's not a 55-inch TV, and it's not $400. So you feel responsible for something, just not as much as he's asking for. Right. All right, well, what, how big was the TV? It was about a 19-inch. Um, it was small. <laughs> it was um, small. Was it 19 inches? No, ma'am. And we'd be playing PlayStation. How old was it? Do you have a receipt for the TV? I, I taped the receipt underneath the, uh, the stand base. Why would you do that? It'd be showing the whole time. Because I didn't have a place of residency in... in that's why I kept it. That's why I had a, a I don't think you kept the receipt. <laughs> Nobody tapes the receipt under the stand base of a TV that they own for how long? I just got the TV. Oh, well, then you should have another. You should be able to get the receipt from the store. Did you do that? No. Do you have, uh, how did you pay for it? I paid cash. Yeah. Um, it's hard for you to demand $400 for 55-inch TV when you have no evidence of what the TV was and there's a dispute about it. It's hard for you to win a lawsuit when I don't trust you since you're dishonest. So you went out and bought yourself what? 32 inch. Yeah, and so uh, and why should he TV end up uh, have, with no TV and you end up with a nice new 32 inch TV? Because according to you, it was already broken? You didn't break it? How do I know you didn't break it when you transferred it to your place with no authority to do so? How do I know that didn't happen? He has three TVs already. Oh, he has enough TVs? You can break one and it's, you don't have to pay really for it? I didn't really break it, though. How, how is he has three TVs already an answer? Well, I'm just saying. What, if you, if, how are you just saying that? How is a defense for you that he has three TVs, <coughs> so he has enough? I want me some. How is that a defense? <laughs> yeah. Why would you, if you had just bought it, just bought it, store it without a box. What I did was, I, I, I tried it out, and then when I put it into the storage, because I didn't have enough room to, to, to place it. You know, it wasn't, well, it, she wasn't a big storage. Why didn't you wrap it up? Look, room. I don't know when that thing got broken, but, you know, my money's on that Sabrina's not particularly honest or forthright, um, because she's the one who took it without authority to begin with. But I'm looking at a 55 Toshiba, and Best Buy uh, sells it for $2.99. Um, so well, it had the mounting bracket with it, too. Yeah, you know what? Don't get greedy, because uh, you have zero evidence. Zero evidence. You walked in empty-handed. So slow your roll, OK? Um, finding in your favor in the amount of $300. Verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff prevails in this case. Ms. Wilson. You say you've been friends for 20 years with him? Pretty much. This is kind of a mess to break up this friendship, don't you think, over a TV? We're okay. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Really? Sure. You're not very talkative there. <laughs> no. I think you want to get out of here. Okay, you may go. Mr. Evans, I asked you the same question. Is, is a friendship, 20-year friendship, worth, you know, over TV like that? Oh, it would work. Uh, our friendship been along. We still positive together. 
You uh, are. But she just didn't ask me for it. That's the only thing I would do. No, I know. Thinking. Yeah, the judge got on her about that. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that's the only thing. She could have used it because she has a little young grandson, and, and here we are. And here you are. Okay. You think you can be friends with her again? Oh, we're friends. You're still friends? Yes, sir. All right. Well, good enough. Congratulations. Yes, sir. You're lucky you won because you didn't have any evidence, you know? You're yeah, lucky. I understand. You are lucky. All right. Yes, Thank you very much, sir. You, sir. you must sign a few documents right. there. He is lucky, Harry. What do you think? Okay, so when used property gets damaged or destroyed, what you're entitled to is the reasonable market value of the property at the time of the damage.